Hello, my name is Linda Levy, and I am going to teach you how to hold a violin or a viola bow hold. I am going to explain how to uh, create a bow hold two different ways, one of them telling a story and one maybe not so much. Um, it depends on how you learn. It is still the same bow hold, but I will teach it two different ways. The object when you are holding a bow is to stay nice and relaxed, okay? So here is my bow. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to hold it in the middle of the bow so it is balanced but nice and relaxed. You do not want your fingers to touch the bow hair because that is bad. It will get oil on the hair and then it might not play for you. So hold it in the middle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna shake it out nice and relaxed, just nice and relaxed, okay? When we are talking today, I am talking about this being my first finger my middle finger, my ring finger, and my pinky, four fingers. So the very first way, after you shake out your hands, what you wanna do is you want to make an okay sign with your right hand, but it's not the typical okay sign. It is the okay sign where you're going to use your middle finger and your thumb. And what you wanna do is you wanna make that okay sign so that your thumb is on the very first knuckle. So it looks like this, okay? And what you're going to do is you are going to take where those two fingers touch and you're going to place it in your bow right here in this little groove. It is not in this big round groove. You never wanna stick your thumb here. It is going to go in between this frog and this bow grip. So here is my okay sign. And we're going to place my thumb right here with my middle finger covering it, okay? Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna give it a friend and you're just going to sit there nice and relaxed, okay? So now you should have bunny rabbit ears. When you do this, your thumb should be bent. We call that a banana thumb. So your, your thumb always stays bent. Our first finger is going to relax on the stick. So what I do is I just pet the bow a little bit so it's nice and relaxed. And it's just going to lie there between the first and the second knuckle, whichever one's more comfortable for you. I normally put it around the first knuckle. Our pinky sits on top. And I tap it to make sure that it stays nice and relaxed. It does not go on the silver. It just goes by your fingers, okay? Now, if you have this correct bow grip, then you should have a space between your first finger and your middle finger and between your ring finger and your pinky. Your thumb should be bent and you should have a big hole. Your knuckles should be rounded, excuse me, your fingers should be rounded and your knuckles should be flat with your wrist and with your arm. So you should never have a bow grip that looks like this or like this. Your fingers stay nice and relaxed. And this is all nice and leveled. Continuously check that thumb and make sure that you have that nice big open hole and that your thumb is bent. That is so important. And there is your bow grip, okay? A lot of times I see a lot of people that wanna to try to extend their fingers, but it stays nice and relaxed. So we're going to try it again with a um, with a, another story. It's called the pirate story, and sometimes this might help people out a little bit better. So once again, we're going to hold our bow with our left hand, shake out that right hand, and we're going to tell a story. So here's your captain of the ship, and he has a very strong chin. So he has that nice rounded chin, thumb, okay? And the captain is going to sit in his quarters of his ship. So there he sits, okay? And he has two crewmates that keep him nice and safe. They also like to put their feet in the water. So they come over and they protect that captain so you can't see the captain, okay? This crew member had a little bit too much root beer. So he's going to sleep it off. This crew member is afraid of the water. He's also allergic to silver. So he's just going to sit on deck and stay watch. 
And there you have your bulk rip again. Space between one and two, or first finger and middle finger, and ring finger and pinky, okay? Thumb is bent, round circle, fingers are curved, and knuckles are straight with the arm and with the wrist. And there you have it, your violin and viola bow rip.